Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday! I hope you've had a lovely week. As you may or may not have experienced, it's been really mild this week. Hence why I've dressed like Bert from Mary Poppins, or like one of the penguins. Do you remember that? I don't know. But yeah, I've gone out summery because it was about 15 degrees when I filmed this today. It was really, really warm. So I'm feeling quite spring-like. I'm ready for spring. To round off the month, I thought I'd do quite a nice relaxed video and talk you through some of my monthly favourites because I've got quite a nice collection of varied things. I've seen a few exhibitions this month. I've done a few different things which I thought would be worth talking about. So let's go. So the first favourite I want to talk to you about is an exhibition I went to. I went to see the So You Want a Revolution exhibition at the Victoria and Albert Museum. These are some of the postcards I picked up at the end. It was an incredible exhibition. I don't often go to exhibitions in London, which I know is a real waste of living in such a vibrant, cultured city, but I'd heard a lot about this. I loved the idea of the music influence behind it um, and the kind of... I don't know, it felt really relevant, especially at the time we're living in at the moment with culture and politics and the world and lots of things going on, the kind of idea of revolution and kind of going against the grain and trying to really stand up for what you believe in. All these different amazing things they were talking about in this exhibition, it felt really powerful and had a great soundtrack and it was amazing looking back in history as well and seeing how far we've come and how, I don't know, different kind of waves in time really influenced where we are today and kind of how history repeats itself sometimes, I mean hopefully not too much. It was just really fascinating and it really kind of opened my eyes and inspired me and kind of made me feel like I really want to make a bit of a change. Maybe gave it big for my boots here, but I think yeah we are, we're all very capable of making small bits of change in the world so yeah I felt really inspired. I also picked up lots of badges in the gift shop because apparently I'm eight years old so I kind of, I got quite into it. I got one that says unity is the solution, extinct is forever, peace is patriotic, Dedicated follower of fashion, good song, but yeah loads, I'm not going to go through them all. Great exhibition, I think it may have ended now, if so I'm really really sorry, but I really wanted to mention it. There is a soundtrack on Spotify, so you can still get that element, and I'm sure there's lots of reviews online. So I will put some links down below in case you do want a taste of it and you can't get to London if it is still on. So yeah, absolutely love that. Kind of tying into my last favourite is this t-shirt which I got from an American shop called Frankie. This t-shirt, which, you know, the sleeves are tucked in because it's come out of the wash, it says Pussy Power on it, and I wanted this for such a long time. It was designed by Brianna Lance, who is a really, really amazing, talented designer. I think she does some stuff with So It Goes magazine, and she also used to work at Reformation at some kind of... I can't remember the exact details of her CV, but she helped design this t-shirt with a shop in New York called Frankie. And I think all the proceeds go to plan Planned Parenthood, so I think it's a really, really cool thing. It looks really cool tucked in with jeans, I've already worn it a few times, but I really wanted to include it because it's just my most worn item this month, probably. The next thing I've been loving this month is... This is kind of stupid because I've been loving the idea of travel. Beginning of this year has been a quite a quiet start. I haven't really done any travel, but I've been gearing up the idea of doing a little bit more. Um, mainly in the UK, and when I was in one of my favourite news agencies recently... News agencies? Is? <laughs> in one of my favourite news agents recently in London, I picked up this, which is a little book about Cornwall and it's part of the Weekend Journals collection. I don't know how many other ones they have because I've never seen them before. Very, very similar to the serial kind of city guides they do. But I am planning a little break to Cornwall quite soon and this is really, really beautiful. It's got some really cool walks, places to stay, places to eat, shops, and it's just nice because it's never really somewhere I considered going. I went when I was really young, years ago. I'm really excited about travelling a little bit more this year and just kind of seeing more about where I live because I think we're so quick to kind of go to far-flung destinations, but really there's so much on our doorstep which is like a few hours on the train, so definitely want to take that off more this year. Tying into the seaside kind of theme, I have also been loving burning this candle, which is one from the Zoellette Lifestyle Collection. This is the Seaside Straw Candle, and I really love it. It's just a really nice, clean, airy scent, if that makes sense. I've been burning a lot of candles recently because I've been going to bed really early, like a grandma, because I just get so tired of the evening that I just like to put some candles on blow them up before I go to sleep, just really relax and these candles are really gorgeous, they have a lovely scent that kind of really fills a room. Yeah, they're just really good, they're really affordable too which I really like because I think some of the nicest candles about can be quite expensive, whereas this is great, it's really affordable and I think you can get it in quite a few places so I will link that below too. Now this one is a slightly different item, I am actually working on a project at the moment with a brand called Lenovo. Lenovo do lots of amazing tech products 
and the item I'm going to talk to you about very very quickly because I have a post coming up next week is something I've been really loving and it is the Lenovo Yoga Book. The reason this has excited me so much this month is because it is like a tablet but let me show you. It kind of doubles up like a laptop esque kind of thing but you can draw on it like a notebook too. I will link the post below when I can but it's great because it's got so many amazing functions on it which means you can have a notebook layered on top and you can use a pen and it transfers directly onto the screen. It's absolutely mind blowing. It's a really cool piece of tech that I'm just totally blown away by and that really happens. I'm definitely a bit of like a, an old woman with things like this. I'm just like what? What is this new thing that I just, I have an iPhone that's several upgrades old, I'm just not really down with the kids, but this is a really really cool thing. I've just really loved using it and I'm excited to show you how it works, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Now I have a couple of items of clothing to show with you as well as the t-shirt, the first being this dress from Needle and Thread, which, oh my god, possibly the most beautiful item of clothing I've ever owned. I bought that this month upon learning that I was going to the BAFTA part, this, the BAFTA nominee party and it was just one of the most surreal evenings. I went last year, which I can't quite believe, two years. And the whole evening, I did have a very big case of imposter syndrome, but that dress definitely made me feel pretty special, and I'm really, really, really glad I bought it. Anyway, sorry, a little cameo from my dog there. I'm just so glad I bought it, and it's that kind of thing I don't often go and kind of spend that amount of money on anything really. It was took a lot of consideration. I had posted about it on Twitter a few weeks ago, kind of like, I need an occasion for this. So when the occasion popped up and I couldn't find anything else to wear, I was like, should I do it? I did it and I'm really glad I did because I know I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of it. So that's kind of how I'm justifying it, but rest assured, it's definitely a one-off, but I absolutely love it. Okay, the last item of clothing I'm going to talk to you about is this varsity kind of bomber jacket from Lazy Oaf. On the back it says you used to be weird and it's this gorgeous pink and black kind of number with these really cool frilled sleeves make it a little bit different. Lazy Oath are one of those brands I just absolutely cannot get enough of. They always have these amazing quite statement pieces or like quite basics with just cool slogans or quite kitsch kind of novelty sayings on them and I don't know they're just they liven up quite a basic outfit and that jacket is quite simple but it's just got quite a party at the back going on and I know I'm just going to get quite a lot of use out of it so I'm very excited and they've got an amazing new collection so go and check it out. Moving on to beauty because I'm doing this in natural light, it is getting darker and I'm starting to waffle so I'm going to start getting a little bit speedy here because I don't want to lose light here and just be sitting there with the flicker of a candle. The first beauty item that I'm going to talk to you about is this fortifying green bath potion from Magic Organic Apothecary. Apothecary ever say it. This stuff is amazing. I did a blog post about the brand very very recently so if you don't read my blog or didn't see the post I will link that below. But this stuff is incredible. It's a mix of peppermint and fennel and you pour a couple of capfuls into your bath and whether you're having a really stressful day or you're a bit under the weather or you've got a cold or flu this is amazing at just clearing your head, clearing your sinuses and it's absolutely amazing. It fills up the bathroom. It's just absolutely just delicious. I'm not one to describe things that aren't food as delicious, but if I were to, this would be it. Another item I've been really loving this month is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I often wax lyrical about the Cakes and Mabel Goat Milk Cleanser and I absolutely love it, but unfortunately I'm running out and it's only available in the US, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to replace it anytime soon, but what I have been loving as an alternative is this. It's for all skin types, it's super super gentle, it's got cucumber extract in it so it's very calming, very soothing and it smells like cucumber too so I feel like a cocktail when I'm wearing it, it's great and I just really love it, my skin hasn't reacted really well to it, as in it hasn't reacted at all and it's just a really great daily, twice a day kind of cleanser, if you just want something really really gentle this is great, it's great in the morning, I might use like a bit richer in the evening to get off all my makeup but this is great, it's just kind of freshening up your face and kind of getting you ready for the day. I've just realised all my beauty items are in fact face mask kind of style products. So the last two I have are the Instant Detox Mask from Bobbi Brown. I don't know whether I mentioned this in my Get Ready With Me. I feel like I mentioned something in my Get Ready With Me. Can't remember, but the Bobbi Brown face masks are my favourite. They come in these really cool packages. And there's a pink one as well, which I love, but that's in my bathroom. But the Instant Detox is like a clay mask, which is great. I also love the Radiance Boost Mask, and I've just been using these non-stop. They're really, really cool. Two more I've also been loving. I just, I'm on a face mask hype, I can't help it. Uh, the like, Flower Fusion Masks from Origins. I am quite new to a sheet mask, but the first time I wore one, I just, I mainly laughed at myself. 
for the duration of it. I was just like, look at you. And they're just like on Snapchat, like, oh. But I love them. I think they're great for when you're in the bath. I love the fact you can kind of massage in the excess and it's really calming. And it feels like a real kind of ritual when you wear one. And these ones are great. They have really, really beautiful kind of scents and different things. This is the radiance boosting one. I think I used a hydrating one at the weekend, which may have been rose. I can't remember, but they're all really great. They're really affordable and they're a nice treat, whether you're having a girly night in or just having a solo pamper evening. Really, really great thing to pick up. So that is that, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I have a spring wardrobe video coming up very soon with some new transitional items that I'm hoping to introduce as the weather gets warmer, which it is, yes! Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you've been enjoying this month too because I like knowing the cool products that are worth kind of keeping an eye out for. Thank you for watching again, it'd be really great if you could subscribe and give the video a thumbs up, um, only if you want to, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.